Hello. I'm going to show you how to create a simple map app in Vue.js with a title and a marker for my favorite cafe. We've created a GitHub repository called Get Started with Vue.js and Map Libre GLJS. It contains a basic Vue.js map with zoom controls. So the easiest way to get started is to clone it. You'll find the link in the description below. You can find all the commands that I'm using in the step-by-step -step guide. There's a link for this in the description as well. Let's get started. Download the repository. Go to the project folder, My View JS Map, and install all the dependencies. These are all the libraries you'll need to build the map. In the app folder, navigate to the source folder and find the app.view file. Here, replace the map tiler API key placeholder text with your own key. To get a key, go to maptiler.com and click on the My Cloud button to sign up. Signing up is free and allows you to try out all MapTiler's APIs and data. The key is in the Account API Key section. Copy and paste it into the app.view file and then save it. Run npm by typing npm run serve. You can find your app on localhost 8080. Now let's add the marker. If you look at the app.view file, you can see that your app uses the ViewMapLibreGL library to create the map. You can also use it for creating markers. First, edit the script so that you import MGL marker from ViewMapLibreJS and add MGL marker to the components. Then add the marker to the template. Just type MGL marker and specify the geographical coordinates of your favorite cafe. You can also change its color to view green. Now let's create a title. First, create a new file, title.view. This file should have three parts, template, script, and style with the attribute scoped. Template should have a div element with the class heading, which will be the H1 heading. In the script part, you need to define an export declaration. In this, you need to define the component name, which you will use later to import the title. In Vue, you must write component names with multiple words separated by a dash. Now you should be able to import the title to app.view. In the script part of app.view, type import component title from title.view. This time component title should be written with capital letters and without a dash or space. Add component title to the components in the export default declaration. And finally, add the component title tag between the template tags in app.view. You can add it as beginning and end tags or as a self-closing tag you should be able to see the title in your app now. However, notice that the attribution is no longer visible. That's because the title has occupied the top of the map and pushed the attribution off the bottom. We can easily fix this, but first, let's style the title of our map. Go back to the title.view file and in the style part, define the style of the heading class. Set the background color to view green, the text color to white, and align the text to center. This style has the attribute scoped, which means that it'll only apply to the elements of the current component, in our case, only to the title. Don't forget to declare that the class heading is above H1 with 20 pixels padding and zero margins. Let's check how big the title is and adjust the size of the map. It's 78 pixels. The height in app.view should be 100vh-78 pixels. And that's it. You've created a view.js map. If you found this tutorial useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye for now.